Hi, I'm Leo Vader, and welcome to Watch Later, my essay series about the overlooked nuggets in gaming that I can't stop thinking about. Hitman is a game about poking around in a clockwork world and seeing how each little prod helps or doesn't help you to assassinate your targets. When I play this game, I'm the murder man. I may kill fewer people in Hitman than in most other games, but I am much more sadistic about it. Deeply enjoying the over-the-top ways you can kill the game's many villains. Mumbai, one of the game's biggest levels, offers an incredibly in-depth assassination opportunity involving the city's hairstylist. He's wrapped up in cahoots with the Maelstrom, the only target in the game whose description and appearance is kept a complete mystery. That opportunity is what I'm here to investigate. I drop into Mumbai discreetly, in civilian clothes, ready to assassinate my targets as cleanly or hilariously as possible. I make my way to the barbershop, and as I arrive, I catch the hairstylist and his wife discussing something serious. It's clear from this interaction that, while frustrated, his wife is worried about him. These two care about each other. Me? Well, I only care about two things. Killing and murdering. And one out of two ain't bad. I knock out the hairstylist and take his place. What the game wants me to do is to learn the identity of the maelstrom, wait for him to sit down in my barber's chair and slit his throat. But there's also a challenge specific to this level called Shave Mumbai for shaving 15 hairy citizens. So I figure I may as well open up shop and complete that challenge before I move on. I choose a client from the street and offer them a shave and they come in and sit down. They share gossip about my assassination targets and other characters on the level. Like all barbers, I have the option to kill my client at any time, but I choose not to. When my first client is satisfied, he gets up and surprises me by paying for my services in coins. I don't know why I was surprised by that, I guess I just didn't think it would go this far. But I may as well take another client, it's for a challenge after all. I shave five more. It's honest work. They give me their stories and get only a fresh cut in return. My empty eyes refusing to reflect the purpose and companionship I'm beginning to feel. But then I remember, one of the men who walks into my shop today will be the Maelstrom, and I'll have to know which one it is, so I can kill him and finish the level. What was it my wa the hairstylist wife said? What was it they were talking about when I arrived? The hairstylist had just returned from the base of the Crows, a gang acting as a security faction in Mumbai, where he was shown a picture of the Maelstrom. He was supposed to pass along some intel to the Maelstrom today, but he was so scared by the whole ordeal he forgot what the Maelstrom even looks like. That's right, the wife said the picture was probably still in the crow's base. So I go on break and head to the base, but as I get close, a guard tells me I'm not allowed in. You need to go back to where you came from. Whoever let the barber inside to see the photo is long gone now, so there goes my chance to learn the Maelstrom's identity. I guess I have to... give up on that. On my way back to work, I decide why not swing through the other shops in the area to pick up a gift for our wife. I spend some of the coins I earned through my craft on fine fabrics, which will make a lovely gift. I'm having a nice time in the market, but when I haggle with one of the shopkeepers, he sees right through me. I grab a seat just to catch my breath. Stop blending in, the UI taunts me, as if to say, end the charade. No one's buying it. You? A hairstylist? You're pathetic! I palm strike my computer. I return to the shop and get back to work. I just need to shave a few more clients for the challenge and then I'll stop doing this. I lie. More cuts, my cleanest shaves yet. A client gossips with me about a mysterious hitman in town. What's a hitman? I wonder. To hit man. These words mean nothing to me. All I know is haircut and wife support. But then with one client away from completing the challenge, 14 out of 15, bearded people stop spawning. I stand alone outside my shop for what feels like hours. No one is coming to save me. I should have known. Life isn't so simple. You don't just accomplish your goals and live in that satisfaction. You'll never truly be done. I close up shop for the day and head upstairs. Maybe I should do something nice for my wife. I try to iron her clothes, but my hands can't do it. And I know why. I know that ugly truth. The truth that these big, beefy mitts are built to end lives not to begin new ones. My wife finally sees me, but she doesn't recognize me. I'm a stranger in her eyes. Honey, it's me! I beg her. She runs for the door and I give chase. It's your husband! I cry into my Turtle Beach Recon stereo gaming headset. She reports me to the nearest guard. When asked for a description, my wife chooses the words that would hurt me the most. She picks words of crushing loss, of soul-piercing vitriol. He could have been a hairstylist. She was right. I could have been, but I'm not. And it's too late. I can never be. When approached to be taken under arrest, my martial arts training kicks in, but I choose not to go further. I can't do it. 
I'm not a fighter. I'm just a pretend barber getting gunned down in the street. Thanks for watching Watch Later with Leo Vader. Subscribe to MinMax on YouTube and come on back next week for a completely different essay. After that, these videos will go up every other week. And make sure to subscribe on Patreon if you can. Patrons at the $5 level got to see this video a few days early. Just imagine all that extra time you'd have to really soak in the themes. Take care.